I plan on on uh, grinding off stream. Mid thirties. Mid thirties. That's the plan. But first off, we need to remove a member from our team. Because that is how the system works. So I'm going to do what I always do. And swap everybody's position once to determine their fate. I'm going to close my party. And I'm going to hit the poke at giant thing so that you can see what's there. Okay. And we're going to pick a number between one and six. Whoever it is. They're gone. Forever. And I'm really scared. Um, if I if it was going to be anyone, I think the one I'm least attached to is the Hitmonlee. Um, the one I'm most attached to is Rhonda or Stemmy. Let's do it. Pick a number between one and six. The answer is three. Who's in spot three? No! 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 You're kidding me, right? Adaptability slacking. The only reason I've been able to get out of so many sticky situations. Gone. Gone. The only thing that's holding my team together. Gone. You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me with this. Unbelievable. Only Pokemon that can take hits or deal damage. On my entire team. Gone. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Alright, well What we're going to need to do now Is we're going to need to do the same thing with the PC box And out of all the Pokemon In this box The one I would like to keep the most Is probably Gene I also think we're going to need to restore that Skull Fossil before I put something on my team. I would love to do that so I can see what that is. So that I can know for sure um, what makes sense the most. So we're going to restore the Skull Fossil before we add something to the team. However, we're going to do this now. Pick a number between 1 and 8. It's 4. It's the Weezing. I'll live with that one. Not attached to this thing whatsoever. Goodbye. Can I release you, please? Thank you. Goodbye. So, we're going to put something new on our team. When... Put my uh, team screen back. Hang on. There we go. When we restore that fossil. So, we're going to go restore that fossil now. What is the quickest way over there? Actually, I chase this guy back to Pastoria anyway, don't I? Wait. Where's the grunt? Wait, what is this? Oh, that's right. There's all this extra stuff. In Diamond and Pearl, it's so much different. There he is. And then you go chase him. Oh, no. You go in the Great Marsh? Oh, no, no. I'm chasing the guy. Okay. So, quickest way back. Through hard, go up, go up to Hardhome. Yep, go up to where I was to Hardhome, and it's not that far of a, of, a, of, a, of a walk. But I gotta go that way. That's the plan. I've had all the trainers, just spray repel, run through it, and then I can get to. Uh, excuse me, and then I can get to Orberg and restore my fossil because someone me doesn't have fly. So you gotta improvise sometimes, I guess. And we can just go along the grass this time. That's so much better. Repels make your life so much better, don't they? Oh. 
that you dude thank you dear god the worst mechanic this game ever came up with and what's funny is i know snowy physics are coming up soon too like snow is snow is coming and i know that the snow one i believe is similar or maybe it's just if you stand in the snow you're slowed down oh i can't cut anymore so I have to use my bike. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me with this game. Wait, no, that won't do anything for me. I have to use cut to progress here? Do I have to use... No. Guys, what am I doing? I can go this way. Cut has always been an optional use. I know that. Come on now. You're better than that. Please tell me it's still optional. I'm not sure. I'm looking over there and I'm not sure. All right, hold the phone. Repel. All right, go. We should be able to be away from all grass by the time the repel's done. And then we can go to Orberg. Nope, oh, one more. Done. It's fine that it wore off. I don't think there's any more grass. Not from what I remember, at least. Okay. So, from here, we then just go this way. Because I believe Orberg is through Mount Moon and to the south. Yep, that sounds about right. I don't even need to look at the map. Did I battle everybody? I probably did. Mr. Hiker Guy, other Hiker Guy... Mount Moon? Did I seriously just call it Mount Moon? It's Mount Coronet. And I knew I would make use of this uh, Rock Smash one day, and I just did that, so that helped. I am making use of the Rock Smash after all. This, this Skull Fossil better be worth it. Something tells me it's going to be really good. Like, something tells me it's going to be worth it. I just don't know for sure. But here we go. I don't know why I'm healing. It's not a big deal. And you will now get a fossil. Okay. What are we getting? Please let it be a flying type. If anything. Well, actually, let it be something I can add to the team. But if it's not, I want it to be a flying type. So that I can at least fly around. Close my eyes. A Duskull. Ghost is not an ish. The ghost is not bad. Like, that's more type coverage. So, like... That works? It's just not what I expected. So, Duskull, you will evolve, obviously, eventually. Uh, you have White Smoke, which is not bad at all, but your moveset sucks. So, you're not being added to the team. I don't see a way. I don't have any, I don't have any good Ghost or Dark TMs. Like, I just don't see a reason to add you to the team at all. So, what I'm going to do is probably... Man, what do I even add? Do I need to go double water types here again? The best water type I have my my team is the either the Azumarill or the Kingdra. I like both of them. What's Azumarill's ability? I could actually just go hit out on is what I could do. I could go hit out on. Let's go tri Triple H, because now I have Ground, which is another steel steel coverage, and he's actually like a fully evolved Pokemon that can do stuff. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm cool with Triple H. He is static as well. Moveset needs some work, but it gets better with level. Triple H is gonna be our guy. Okay. Well, I guess at the end of the day, I'm probably gonna have to train before moving forward. That's probably the goal. 